Japanese pair are about to make their way onto the ice. Here they come. Shin Amano. On the ice, representing Japan. Marie Ari. And Marie Ari. Just 16 years of age, Marie. And the music for their free program is La Bayadere by Leon Minkus. This really is a marvellous moment for them. They've only been skating for a very, very short time. And well, it's thanks to the Japanese Federation that they're here, really, isn't it? Yeah, basically a team put together to be able to represent in front of their own home crowd. Which is a big show of support for the Japanese Federation, I think. And I think if they're good enough to compete on an international level, so they then should. they should be here. It's a star lift. And the crowd are happy. Shin has plenty of experience. He was been the national champion, in fact, was the national champion in 1995. Actually placed 28th at the World Championships. One of Yokohama's favourite sons. Into the slow section. We have the spins and the spirals here. triples, side by side triples, and they're going for the uh, throw triple jumps. And that's what Olympic competition's about. They're not playing safe, and they could have. Inside death spiral. I think she might have some of her school fans here in the audience. She attends a Tohoku High School. And if she continues in the sport, she could well be a force in the years to come. They spent a lot of time training with uh, Paul Martini, who was 1984 world champion with partner Barbara Underhill, uh, to get some of these moves up and going for this event. And the program was choreographed by Tollett Cranston. So try to throw double axle there again. And again, you have to hand it to her. She could have done a single. She looks a bit more relaxed now. Maybe all of the hard tricks for her are done. Oops. Oh, why did <laughs> I say that? Too soon. <laughs> Good double flips. Turn double toe. She's enjoying that now. Well, I think it's all singles elements after that last lift yeah. was over. They're all things she could do by herself. Good job. Overhead lift. And back 
That's a dispo. Oh. Well, a very good effort. Just a disappointing way to finish. You'd be a little upset with that, but uh, well done. Yeah, it is a brave skate. Just 16 and 24 years of age, yeah. respectively. And the crowd being very, very generous with their applause and throwing the flowers onto the rink by the dozens. Well, let's hope that comes the way of Stephen and Danielle because uh, they're going to be skating for their lives and for Australia in a few minutes' time, and you'll see it right here on 7. They're in the next group. First up in the next group, we have uh, one more pair in group number one. And what, what we'll see too, Sandy, is as each group goes by, which is such a one... I mean, it's wonderful for everyone at home to see the whole event because you'll see the escalation of the standard and talent. the speed and yep. the talent as we go through. Um, you know, basically after this first group, there's so little to pick from. Well, I mean, this is a program tonight where you're going to have to wait till the last, the absolute final pair until you know who is going to win the gold medal. And it will be worth it. Yeah, my word, it will. Absolutely. So, uh, just settle back and relax. Enjoy yourselves and stick with us here on 7. This is going to be a, a wonderful night's entertainment. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, she, I think she's... Uh, oh, it's an emotional she's in, time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the cry area, That's I why think. it's called the kiss and cry area. Yeah. But I think she's probably relieved that it's all over. Yeah, we see the marks into the threes a little because um, that's about what it should receive. And, of course, the judges are making room for everything that they need to do. The first mark is for technical merit. The first is for artistic impression, which is the how you do it and what you do. Well, there'll be plenty of improvement for them in the years to come.